guess I'm going to tell you all a story about an evening that, uh, that happened in, uh, well, it was the mid eighties in Philadelphia and, uh, Grateful Dead were playing in that town and so were the Clash that, that evening. And after the show, we invited some friends from our gig to, uh, back to our hotel and the Clash were also staying at our hotel. We got about an hour into the festivities back at our hotel and um, and uh, there came a knock on the door and uh, there was an English gentleman. He said he was road manager for The Clash and wanted to know if, uh, if, if the fellas could come up and, and uh, join a, our little, uh, little festivity there. And we thought that was probably a pretty good idea. And uh, a few minutes later, um, Joe and a couple other guys arrived up there. And, you know, we, we said hello and, uh, and uh, offered them a drink and all that kind of stuff. And then Joe sort of cornered me and, uh, and he wanted to know all about Pigpen. And it had been a long time since anybody had asked me about Pigpen, so I figured I'm probably going to want to talk to this guy. And we started talking about Pigpen, and, uh, and he, he just wanted to know everything about Pigpen. He was a big fan of Pigpens. And, uh, you know, a few minutes into the conversation, uh, we kind of got to like each other, and, uh, and so we did uh, the natural thing. I, I grabbed a, a bottle of, I think, vodka or something, and he grabbed a bottle of rum, like all good pirates do. And, uh, and we tried to kill each other slug for slug. Um, that went on for an hour or so, and there were a number of, uh, number of uh, nice young ladies at the party, and I think they were maybe chafing a bit at the uh, lack of attention that we were paying them. So at one point, the, uh, one, of the, one of the young ladies uh, rather loudly announced, uh, I know, Let's play Kill the Rock Star. And so what did we do? Like any um, red-blooded young, uh, young men, we, uh, Joe and I escaped out the window and up the fire escape up onto the roof and proceeded to have our conversation. And uh, just time just went by. And I, I, I think I had a watch. And I, I glanced at it, and I think it was it was like ten in the morning. And um, this great big, you know, enormous gorilla of a man with a British accent uh, came up over the uh, over the the rail onto the roof and just picked Joe up wordlessly and carried him away. And um, I mean, he, he actually, he told me, uh, he told me, he's got to play tonight, you know. And I didn't envy him that, because um, I didn't, I didn't have to play that night, and I'm glad I didn't. Anyway, that's how I got to know Joe. I hope you enjoyed the story. <laughs>